Hi there, it's Sunny from iPhone Life Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Reminders app in conjunction with the iCloud. So first of all, what is iCloud? iCloud is Apple's cloud server. This is a place where information, um, either about you or information that's on your phone, can actually be stored in the cloud, and that means you can access it from any of your Apple devices, including iPads, iPhones, iPods, and your Mac. Now, um, so let's go straight into settings. If we go to settings and then tap on iCloud, you will get a screen that looks a little bit like this. And you can see on here that we've got reminders, and those reminders are currently switched on. Uh, so that, what that means is from this screen, we're saying we're allowing the phone to let the reminders app connect up to the iCloud servers. And so when I actually use the reminders app, and I put my little notes in there about what I want to be reminded about, uh, those reminders are uh, synced with the iCloud server, and so there's always a backup of that information. Uh, but that also means that if I then pick up my iPad instead of my phone, uh, that same information is then replicated on my other device. And effectively, if I change something on one device, it will also change on the second device. And it doesn't matter whether the information goes into device A or device B first of all. So let's have a look at that. I'm going to bring up my Reminders app now, and it's sitting right there. Okay, so I've just kind of blurred out the categories, um, but I've left the numbers intact for you there, and you can see that there are, um, what are there, 70, 80, well, as well over 100 um, items that are actually in my Reminders. Now, let's say that I no longer want to use this device to be reminded of things. Maybe I've got a different device to do that with, um, but I still want to keep the information and I still want to keep a backup. So I still want it to go to iCloud and I'm going to let the other device do that, but I'm not interested in letting this device talk to the iCloud um, as far as reminders are concerned. So what I do is I go back to uh, the original screen we're on and I'm going to switch off the reminders and then I'm given an option. I can either allow those reminders to stay on the phone, um, but then any changes I make will not actually affect what happens in the iCloud, um, or I can just delete them from the phone completely, uh, and again, anything on the iCloud is casually retained and is intact. Now, I'm going to take the second option. I'm just going to delete from my iPhone. There you go. So it's now turning off reminders. So when I go back to the Reminders app now, we'll find that um, everything has gone away. So there you go. There's nothing left for me to do on this particular device. Uh, it feels like my, my day's clear uh, and I've got lots of free time. So time to snooze maybe. Okay, so um, if I then want to bring those reminders back, I go back to the Settings app, uh, switch reminders back on, uh, and they'll all just come uh, flooding back in again. Uh, sometimes it takes a minute or two, but they will definitely reappear. The information's not lost because it's all been backed up, remember, in the iCloud. So um, that's it. Thank you very much for listening. I hope that's been really useful to you. My name is Sunny from iPhone Life Hacks. Have yourself a great day, and I'll see you on the next video.